There are calls for the government to crack down on lavish guest houses and villas operating under the mask of Airbnbs. They are said to be charging thousands of U.S. dollars per night, dodging tax authorities. The revelation came at the 2019 Realtors Conference in Montego Bay, St. James yesterday. TVJ's Anthony Lugg reports. If I want to go into that business, I must recognize that I'm a, I'm a business person. I must treat it like a business. Past president of the Jamaica Hotel and Tourist Association, JHTA, Wayne Cummings, issuing a warning to Airbnb operators. It said that the rise of Airbnb has been challenging hotels for business. Hotels pay room and accommodation taxes, and there have been much back and forth as to whether the government should tax Airbnbs as well. The government has announced that owners will soon be required to pay taxes. But speaking at the 2019 Realtors Conference in Montego Bay on Thursday, Mr. Cummings revealed that some resort villas have been operating under the mask of Airbnb accommodations, while charging big bucks and not paying taxes as hotels are required to do. He called for the government to take a tougher stance on those persons trying to hustle the tourism sector. What I don't appreciate is when you have persons who are renting their rooms for $2,000, $3,000, $4,000 dollars a night. I can, I can tell you which ones they are. And then they said, no, no, we're a little small hustle. But not all persons share his view. Whenever you engage in any activity from which you earn an income, technically you're supposed to be declaring it and filing your returns. The law requires that everybody must file returns. But that is not the failure of short-term rental. That is the failure of something else. So you'll deal with that problem instead of saying the short-term rental persons are not paying their fair, their fair share. Because once you are earning an income from anything, whether it's residential, commercial, or whatever, you're really supposed to declare this income. In July, the current JHTA president, Omar Robinson, called for owners and operators of Airbnb to pay hotel accommodation taxes. Mr. Cummings wants the government to address the matter urgently. This is no hustle. The tourism business is not a hustle. It's a serious thing. You don't have to be overregulated. You don't even have to be made to pay if you're very small. We just have to frame the thing properly, be responsible, so that the thing works for everyone. That's the, in, that, that's the issue that the Hotel Association has. I want to work with you. Anthony Log, TVJ News.